And then I had a pretty bad uh, concussion. That changed everything. Like for me, my goal was to make a final. Six years older than any other athlete in the event. <laughs> so like, I think that was really relevant was my age to people. I remember Leslie McKenna, like teammate and friend phoned me up and said, hey Jenny, uh, Slopestyle's gonna be in the next Olympics. And I was like, oh my God. For me, it really was just about getting to the Olympics and anything else from then on in was a bonus. <laughs> my coach, uh, so when Hamish and me turned up to look at the course, he saw it before me and I remember saying to him, how's it look? And he goes, and he went, There's a little bit of fear of like, oh, these are these are these are big jumps. <laughs> and I was so nervous at the semi-final because I was like, oh no, like I, I might, you know, I, is this going to happen for me? You know? And the relief of making it from the semi-final into the final was absolutely massive. Yeah, I, I just dropped in for that run and um, it just was messy. So it was like, whew, okay, landed a run, where's that put me? And I watched everyone else go and it, and it had me in seventh and I was like, oh man. We're making a joint decision so that we can't turn around and go, oh, we should have done this, should have done that. I'm sticking with the same run, but we're gonna do it as clean as a whistle. If the rails don't go well, we know that when you get to the jumps, you have to do the 900. So that was, that was the plan. And we were both were like, yeah, that's the plan. Okay, good. <laughs> but I did the rails the best I had ever done them the whole week. That was like, oh God, I've got to get off this switch, off that switch into the next one was the cab five. I was like, yeah, clean. And then all the time you're adjusting your speed because it's like so crucial on those jumps. If you didn't clear it, you hit the knuckle and just bounced. I, I was the best I could have done that run. And so I could come away from that going, whatever happens now, you know, it is fine. It took so long for them to bring up the score. Don't get me wrong, when it came in, I, yes, I was in first position, but I absolutely knew that I would not stay in first position. I'm sat in that third position, and there's effectively the best athlete still to drop. And I just, you know, I thought in my head, I just thought, oh my God, I'm either gonna come away with a medal or I'm gonna come fourth. The minute she heard bottom hit the snow on that first jump, I was like, oh my, I've done it. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it, you know, like, oh my God, I think my hands, I think I put my face in my hands. I don't, it sounds shitty, but I guess it was just my time to, to yeah, it was my time and Anna's was yet to come. <laughs> yeah, and I stood up on that, um, podium and a lot of things went through my head at, at that moment of all the things I'd gone through. <laughs> Everything I'd gone through to get there and, you know, the fact that I was a lot older and that I wasn't at my prime and all those things. So it felt like, like gold. It just felt like gold to me. I just would never have imagined being able to go to the Olympics for snowboarding and then suddenly there I am, you know, stood on a podium with a bronze medal on my neck. It's like, wow, like, what a, what a kind of crazy experience. 